as we continue to pound through the reviews on my days off. Uh, yesterday was Roma Dunze. Today is Fuaga. I have to pep my step. I, I feel like the I feel like the streams, the stream last night was was amazing. Um, and uh, I feel like there's been some good support of my work through throughout, uh, whether it be Twitter or YouTube or um, Reddit. So I I really do legitimately appreciate everybody who's been supporting my stuff. Um, because it means a lot. It it obviously it it takes a decent amount of work to get all this uh, all this done. So talking about Fuaga, we got a. Uh, 39 plays, I believe it is. Um, measurements 6'6, 324, uh, 33 and one eighth inch arms. Not the longest arms in the world. You do like to see it reach at least 34 inch arms. Um, that's kind of like the standard. So 33 is not terrible, but he 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 it, it is shorter than ideal. Um, now also with the teams he watched, you gotta note like none of these teams are are Bama. Or or anything like that, you know. And there's no Georgia. There's nothing like that out there. Um, there's some teams in here who are decent, but and maybe have a decent rusher or two. Again, admittedly, not the biggest college football fan in the world, but um, so I, I I reviewed his game against San Jose State, UC Davis, San Diego State, Washington State, Utah, California, UCLA, Arizona, Colorado, Stanford, Washington, Oregon. Um, so. With that being said, um, I'm also going to refer to him as Fawaga this entire time. I know it's pronounced. I think it's like I think it's uh I think there's some other, there's another pronunciation of it that's actually proper. Uh, again, admittedly, I'm going to just say it wrong the entire time because that's how I've been saying it for three months. And if I tried to pr uh, pronounce it the the correct way, it's going to screw me up the entire review. So we are going to be a little bit, I guess, I don't know, ignorant, <laughs> and uh, and we're going to um, pronounce his name wrong the entire time. The Jets strapped them. We'll figure out the right pronunciation. And then we will we will we will go for there in terms of pronouncing his name correctly um, in the future. So his film is very uh, at least at least to my remembrance, it's very like boom or bust type of place um, where he's either gonna pancake the shit out of somebody or he or he's gonna completely whiff. Um, so we got thirty nine plays. Let's go over the first one. We got uh, Fuaga truck screen. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Right tackle, by the way, number seventy five. His power is fun. Um, I, th I think I think for his size, he you know he's he's a decent open field open field mover. I would say change of direction might not be the best in the open field, but in terms of like actual like acceleration and top end speed, it's actually pretty solid. So obviously you know off off the jump gives gives the illusion that it's run peels off, and he's finding the first thing up the arc to to block his, the first threat to the to the running back. Um, finds this uh, this this DB um, working from the outside. Obviously the DB tries to just slip underneath Fuaga at the last second. Fuaga is able to just get a shoulder a hand in there pop that in your shoulder and uh snipes him you know he's he's done he's done so it uh it's 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 definitely fun to watch him that is undoubtedly true it's it's fun to watch him and again you know kind of talked about on the stream last week it seemed like he was a flavor over the month last month or two months ago now nobody's talking about him i still think he's a realistic pick for for the jets at um 10 and if he was a pick i wouldn't be uh, you know I, not necessarily a slam dunk pick in my opinion but uh it's 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 an okay pick to me at, at this at this moment and Throughout this review, as we go through, I might adjust my opinion. Be like, oh, you know, just like Fashano, I was like, oh, I'm actually a little bit higher on front uh, on Fashano than I remember, or whoever it may be, you know. So, uh, Fuaga smart run adjust. Okay, so the right tackle again, number seventy five, which with the Jets you would have to change because that is ABT's number. Yes, yeah, so this is a situ this is a situation where at least initially it looks like he's supposed to climb to that climb to that second level. Um, doesn't it, it looks like a situation where you know he's expecting six to go inside? He knows that what's the, what is the run? It's like a kid's it's make a counter or something like that. Um, yeah, uh, is that the tackle? No, that's a tight end. So it's 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 a version of a counter, but you don't have a guard a, a guard pulling. It's 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 too like it's a tight end and an H back, but um, nonetheless. Looks like he's supposed to climb up the six. When he realizes his six is going to go to the outside, he's not going to chase him. He's not going to chase him to the outside and leave interior gaps open. So his eyes flip from going to to six. Okay, no, he's going to the outside. Now this could be a situation where they like read it. You know, there are question mark literally called question mark blocks where you're reading in your guy's leverage, and then, um, and then depending on if he goes outside, you go inside. If he goes outside, you block him outside. Like there's 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 things like that. Obviously in in football. Um, so this could be a situation, you know, I don't, I don't know their tags. I don't know all of that stuff, but just based on his eyes, it looks like he was supposed to initially climb to six and then he lets six, um, go to the outside. Why? Because if he goes to the outside, he's going to get kicked out by, by one of the lead blockers. Um, so then he, then he's, then he's, um, as, as he, as he's working down on a scrimmage, what's the most dangerous threat to the, to this run right now? 
10. It's going to be hard to get there. So he's going to pick up, I think it's, I think that's 93. Drops his shoulder into 93. Strong hand pitching onto the hip, low center of gravity. We really, really like that. Um, and then, and then drives him to the, to the turf along with the, uh, I think that's the, that's, I think that's the, who, who actually picks up that block? I think that's the, the right guard. Yeah. The right guard pancakes him with the right guard, probably trips most likely, but still a, a, a good adjustment by, by Fuaga on that one. Um, Fuaga over commit. I'm assuming this is going to be like a down block or a combo to the three tech. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So um he is trying to combo to to that to that uh that number 44, the backer right there. And what he wants to do, um, ideally is take that near step. They 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 both near step. Um and crowler technique. They're both gonna split him, they're gonna drive him with that both both near leg and their near hand. And then um whoever, you know, ideally it's it, it they're they're attacking near Fuaga's hip. So ideally he shoves him inside and then climbs to the second level to 44. Initially, it's good. He gallops, small gallops in the inside. Uh, one near step with the, with the left, and then and then the explosion off the right instep right there. Looks like he gets relatively low. He attacks the hip of the of the D tackle. Um, when he attacks the hip of the D tackle, he just stays attached a little bit too long. Gets a little bit too flat. And now this linebacker um, is able to get over the top, and he falls on the ground. That linebacker ends up making the tackle. So this is where I say uh, in a lot of combos and stuff like that, like not not over committing on the first level. This is exactly the definition of over committing the first level. Um, once he dives inside like that, and 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 you have your hands on the hip, and you feel him falling to the turf, there's there's no reason to overextend and and lean for that contact right there. Right now, he's out of the play. Now get your eyes get your eyes up on the second level. Get square to that linebacker. Anticipate his angle and get in front of him in, instead of chasing that block. And and now it's a situation where you know let's say, let's say that forty four wasn't there at the end of this you know right for this tackle. You know maybe maybe he takes a little bit more of an inside angle of that receiver. And then you have a one on one situation with the safety right there if he's to push through that and, and this guy isn't there. So you know he, he might have just missed a potential touchdown run. Obviously, we're assuming a lot there, right? Um, Fuaga splashed feet lateral redirect. All right. Um, right tackle. Okay. Yeah. So comes off, comes off the ball. Um, they're, they're running, they're running inside zone. It's called inside zone, tight zone. And Fuaga works to the, works to the DN. He's trying to kick him out. Um, he doesn't. His 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 base his base is actually pretty good. He's working off the insteps. You know, he it, I would you'd like to see his hips drop a little bit more as his hips are, are are pretty high here. The problem comes from his hands being wide and his and his um and his hands scooping from a little bit low and he doesn't win first contact. You really want to win that first contact. You know, you're you're the one distributing the force first, obviously. Um and, and you want to win that. So he gets splash right there. You have the defender who makes the first contact on on Fuaga gets extension. Now Fuaga doesn't have um you know hand placement on the defender, even though he's a good base for the most part. You know, working off the insteps, he still doesn't have anything attached in the upper body. So now he's he's, he's relatively off balance while trying to refit himself. Um, and then you have extension, and then the 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 the, the D end who just crosses his face with a lateral step, and you can see some of his like lack of movement right there. You know, in terms of like lateral ability and like redirection, um, there's like there's there's different types of lateral mobility, whether it be like explosion off the line lateral mobility, um, lateral mobility in terms of okay, you're 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 in a pass set, and now you have to get to the left really quick while you're working off your back foot. There's that type of lateral mobility. There's like redirection lateral mobility, um, where okay, you know, let's say he, uh, I don't I don't know for for whatever reason you get torqued a little bit to your left, and now you're trying to work back to the right. Like there's a bunch of different kind of, um subcategories within lateral mobility, which is why, again, when I think when scattering parts are too short, which I think to be concise is a good thing. But if you're really trying to know a player, like lateral mobility is not necessarily just enough sometimes to, to cover all the basis or whatever, you know, if you're only putting like five or six traits out there, I just don't feel like it covers enough. Um, but here again, you see some of the lack of movement skills right there from, from Fuaga, like that with that redirection ability. Um, and obviously he gets splashed. And now that, now that DN was able to get on the, on, I think even though he overshoots it, but still, he got in on the on the play, right? Or he could have at least. We don't really care about the result; we care about the process. Um, so F uh, Fuaga, smart pass, seventy five. Yeah, so super patient right there. We de we definitely like that, right? Um, so because he's tight, and he's and he's kind of coming from a little bit of a little bit of depth, 
he's able to just step down in this and, 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 and not, and not only, not only is he able to step down because of that, he's also able to step down on that because they're running play action. So if he wants to give the illusion and it's a run. Um, so if he just drops back right here, uh, then obviously it's not the illusion of a run. So they almost benefit that he's a little bit tighter. If he was wider, it'd be a little bit sketchier for him to step down, but relatively tight offline scrimmage. So he's just going to, um, this is where I want to draw. This is going to happen eventually. Um, he's going to step down, uh, to this like stand up slanted four eye, uh, as, as he steps down square eyes on eyes on his actual threat, right? Like this is his secondary threat. We said, which is taken care of first because that's the first thing near him, but his eyes are still on that second level. So power step to the inside, throw that left hand again, square eyes up, stays on it, right? Stays on it. Why should he come off? If, if 14 or 34, uh, 14 is not going to press, you know, the line of scrimmage. So it's a really good job. Like you'd have a lot of guys, especially at the collegiate level who might not be so confident in their, in their assignments stuff like that. They might st step down like this, pop them and then jump to the outside. And Fuaka goes to the jump to the outside, but he realizes like mid step, Hey, this guy is not really rushing me. I'm just going to stay inside and, and assist my guard for longer. And then once, once he sees that the, that the, the, the 14 diagnosis that is a play action, he starts to rush. That's when he gets to the, to the outside, gets his hand onto the shoulder, pushes him up the arc and pass the quarterback's level um but in terms of like now now you can see some of the lack of like lateral mobility right there like trying to get trying to get lateral you can see how it's a little bit um i'm not gonna say like it's not segmented it's just a little bit slow in terms of him matching him up the arc right here like this was a really good rusher and he was able to let's say rip through that hand or, or chop down that hand instead of just trying to dip past it um is he going to be able to keep up with that probably not so you could see in, in some of these in some of these uh you know, play is just off the jump that he's not the best mover in the world. And, and honestly, sometimes it's hard to, to see. It just comes with watching multiple guys and you, okay, that guy looks a lot more explosive than this guy. You know, like it just comes from watching. Uh, okay. Next fog, a slight overset, hard to get back inside, leave feet question mark. I'm asking myself a question. Uh, right tackle right here. Right tackle. The one thing I noticed with his stance too, is he's a little high. When guys are like typically a little bit high high in their stance of this, it, it, it can indicate pass. So, um, you have both the tackles are high. So I don't know if they like really drilled at it at at uh, Oregon, but something to note if he's always going to be high like that. Uh, but okay, overset, hard to get back, uh, hard to get back inside, leave feet. Okay, so sets to the sets to the uh, sets to the D end. shoots the outside hand a little bit passive right like he's you know that dn's in that contact window right now let's let, let's get that hand out there he shoots the hand a little bit late shoots the hand a little bit late with no contact into the ground again we we do want to sh we want our hand to land basically as a foot is landing if you're you know unless you're like super like george st pierre superman punching a guy like yeah that works but in terms of like moving backwards and punching a guy you're never going to be as strong with both feet in the air um, and punching a guy as you are if you're connected to the to the ground because you're going to work through that you know through the through the turf up through your foot through your knee through your hip through your core up through your shoulder into your arm like it's it's just it's, just, it's stronger that way just you know mechanic mechanic wise so we don't necessarily we don't want to not necessarily we do we don't want to leave our feet as we punch and not be attached one you could see you want to play a little bit more knee bend um he's he's a little bit high here like in terms of his pads shoots the hand wide leaves his feet and then in terms of him getting like knocked off his spot, and this is where this is where we talk about strengths and weaknesses, like that redirectional um agility. Like that's something I'll put in my reports, redirectional ability. And, and it comes from plays like this. Um, like the, the the redirect ability. And you know, the guy crosses his face, he he almost gets there again. Didn't necessarily completely impact the play, but again, let's imagine this is Hassan Reddick and not number four from you know, whatever home, San Jose State, I believe this is. So uh Fuaga power. Okay. Power, uh, right tackle. So, just based on the last set, right high. Now he's lower. I would that would tip me off to a run, you know, just based on the sets. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay attention a little bit more to that review. Review. I don't know if I um pay attention so much to that again. There's admittedly uh, there's times where you're watching this and it's like you know newborn and you're kind of exhausted. You're not thinking to look for pad level pre snap. You know, there's just things that you kind of you can miss. It, it's just part of being a human. So, uh, right tackle. Yeah, same run. Uh, so, yeah. So no, there's there's really not much to this. So he just he's he's immediately climbing. I'm assuming that if this if the D tackle right there, though that that one tech that near one tech to him to his left, if if he were to stay a little bit more um towards that B gap, he would probably hand check him right there or at least assist the 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 uh 
the right guard and then climb to the second level. But because he dives inside, there's no reason to chase, right? Kind of like that combo we talked about before. So he climbs immediately to number six and then he gets his hands on six. And you can just see the, the raw power he has when he, he, he contacts six right here. Gets his hands on, you know, shoulder pad, and you can see that that right hand is onto the back of the hip or the rib area, and just extends him. And then look how far he goes. That's all. That's all we're talking about right here. Just watch how far he goes. <laughs> he's out. He's out of there. That was like a five, six yard push. So he is. Um, he's absurdly powerful, just like Latham. They're ridiculously powerful uh, players. So Fuaga power pl uh, play action again. Uh, right tackle. Getting a little bit higher in his stance here. Like the little uh, adjustment of the helmet right there, but uh, you could again. He he literally launches this guy out of the screen. It is it's it's very fun to watch him play in certain reps. So, um, steps towards him, another step. Again, we ideally we have like either contact on that uh, contact second step. Yeah, no, that's fine. We want contact on, on with a foot being on the ground, right? So second step, left hand land inside. Can't see where the right lands, unfortunately. But what do we get? Obviously rolls his hips extends see the hips are like you know it, it there's really no better term than like a hump you know get those hips up just a little bit not didn't completely roll the hips there because he extended and this is the one thing that he does a little bit different than lynn latham in terms of the blocking he likes to extend more which is kind of what beckton did where guys then get to reset um ideally like these are the nice baldy breakdown highlight things where like, he tosses them in terms of like the functionality of it at the NFL level, you know, staying attached and driving guy is better. Like you don't want to lose that contact, but nonetheless launches him. We're showing off the power, adjust his helmet, and then it's obviously going to match him, but the, the ball is already out, right? So Fuaga launch. <laughs> Again, he, he's fun. He's definitely, ooh, why is this only a two second play? Do you launch him and then it just ends? I don't, I don't know. I might've cut this really poorly. Oh, wow. Okay. The ball is just out within literally a second. So that's, that's why. Uh, again, another situation where it's very, very quick here. Um, one step contact on two left into the shoulder pad can't see where the right lands but again just power just power it, this this is all that is it, it's just really highlighting how strong he is he just absolutely launches that guy it looks like he loses balance maybe he, it looks like he does fall um just a fun play just a fun quick play we got fuaga trap all right It is funny that everybody's like, come on, think of it. It's like, oh, we want this guy at 10, this guy at 10, this guy at 10, this guy at 10. You like barely hear his name anymore. It just again, it happens. Uh, right tackle. Yeah. It's a good play. That's that's yeah, that's a good play. Now, why? Patience sets to him, not oversetting, not over his feet, but you see how he's running his feet. Why do we want running the feet? Obviously, he's able to, to, to redirect quicker. We don't want our we don't want our feet you know, you know stapled into the ground here. So um nice patient feet right there. His hands are on guard. You don't want to see his hands as necessarily wide as they are. Um ideally they're a little bit tighter being nitpicky, but again, that's why I think most people are here for me to be nitpicky. So I want him to be maybe a little bit wider. He sees that that long arm comes out of 96. And again, we could see that 96 is probably not Micah, Micah Parsons here. He looks like you know quite the fatty, but nonetheless. Um, you know, so he's not the most explosive guy, or whatever. So he, Fuaga does benefit off of playing, you know, seemingly lesser competition here. I'm not trying to shit on San Jose State number 96, but again, I don't think he's uh Hassan Reddick, Michael Parsons, uh Nick Bosa. But so Fuaga sees the left arm coming out. That's mean his main point of contact. He's already starting to lean into it, right? Chop the hands down, catch him. Chop, catch. Does he does he pop his hips back a little bit? Yeah, he pops his hips back just a little bit, catches him, and then um we get into a situation where, okay, well, actually, he catches him, and then there's extension again. There's extension again. Keeps that left hand out on there, and then the right hand gets into the chest. Left hand resets. Yeah, this is this is really good in terms of the hand placement. There's just the, the handwork here I like. I'm sorry I'm jumping around a little bit on this one, but chop, grab, left stays extended. Now, he does not remove his left hand because he does not want the, the you know, the DN to, to have the main point of contact. So left hand, right hand lands. And now that left hand is not the best spot, right? Like that's not the best spot to be in because we want to lift, right? This is more push first lift. We talk about that a lot. So now we get into lift. Hop back into our anchors. You know exactly what I'm saying with lift. Push, lift. Lift is a lot more effective. Gets into his, into his, into his, um into his anchor. In steps, most likely. Looks like he'll anchor. Nice tight elbow angle. Lifts the guy up. He's not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. I'm going to have a DN from uh, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a, a DM. I'm gonna have a, a DM from a 96. Not really. Uh, okay, so right tackle, 75. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so sets again stays relatively tight to the guard. What is he not doing? He's not just exploding to the outside um, and and being a patient here. He stays relatively tight to the guard. He has his drag hand out. Why to feel that contact before it comes? Now he might he probably knows already because he I'm sure he does. He has some sort of peripheral vision. Um, so in a peripheral vision he sees this. But let's just say it's a little bit more disguised. It's ran a little bit better. You know, uh, the the edge rusher holds holds fog a little bit to the outside. That drag hand. Let's it, one one it has his hand in a good place to to punch and two it it also allows him to to kind of feel it out if if he can't see it so um good job staying patient good job staying tight to the guard he he sees that it's it sees that it's coming punches with the left into the chest of the of the uh, of the dn punches with the left now the left gets removed we have the right still attached to the shoulder pad and then what he's gonna do is a um is a it's now the difference of like cuff and 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 let's see if he actually. Yeah, it looks like he cuffs it. So really, so really cuff. I don't know if you guys can see me even on the screen right now. I think I think you can. I can't see myself, but I think you guys can see me. Like like the snatch and trap technically is like snatch, hit them, and then and then because you hit them, you're extending them, and now they're really leaning, and then you trap them. Um, I don't I don't think it's a snatch and trap if a guy is just rushing you in the chest and you just trap his arms down. That's not a snatch and trap to me. Snatch and trap is different than trap, at least how I talk about it. And then you also have a cuff technique. And a cuff technique comes when you know you have your hands on the shoulder to the shoulder pads maybe a little bit higher and the guy's under you in terms of his hands being under you. And what you're gonna do there is just you're you're just gonna drop your elbows while maintaining your 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 grip. And then that's just gonna break that's just gonna break his 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 um uh, his uh his extension on you. So you're just gonna attack the pivot point of his arm and 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 drop those elbows onto the onto the uh onto the elbow, onto the wrist of the of the uh, defensive lineman. It looks like his right arm stays attached here. Right arm stays attached to the shoulder pad. It looks like it again, regardless whether it be trap or cuff. You know, it, it looks more like a cuff to me. Um, and then he's just gonna sit on him. You're done. You're done. Okay. Uh Fuaga pancake. We like pancakes. We definitely are a fan of pancakes on Blue is Blitz. Um, let's watch right tackle. This one's a little bit this this one's a little bit uh, grainy at the end right there, but nonetheless, the, these plays have been better. So I must I must have cleared my space a little bit before this review. But um, we have a, we have a obviously we have a zone to the we have a mid mid yeah let's call it a mid zone to the to the left right here. So Fuaga is just going to try to maintain his positional leverage in front of in front of. Um, in front of this D end again, you could see some of the some of the lack of like lateral explosion and um and just agility in general. Like he doesn't get to that spot with like with, like super explosion. Again, it just comes with watching other guys. But with that being said, he is able to stay square. He's able to land his right hand into the upper rib, you know, shoulder. He still lands it. Can't see where the left is. Most likely to the shoulder pad. Um, and then he's just going to get uh, I don't know. It, it's hard to tell if he works from the right right there or just drives him you know forward and that and that leans him off balance so I'm, I'm just a little bit unsure if it's uh it looks like a little bit of torque looks like he's turning him left into yeah, left into the chest area right into the backish area and then torques him to the ground and then sits on sits on top of him again pancakes him good play good play uh fuaga hands and balance all right Right tackle, right? Like we're not gonna be mad since what we've been watching so far. If this guy's the pick, like it's 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 pretty positive review so far. Um, so we'll see where it goes. We still have uh 27 plates left. So right here, right tackle. By the way, if you guys see my sh my screen shaking, it's because uh my I'm a, I'm a consistent like knee shaker, so it's probably why if, the, if I'm like bouncing, it's just because I'm shaking my freaking knee. So I'll, I'll try to stop that, but hands balance. Um, okay, so so what do we like here? Not oversetting. Right, not oversetting short, choppy steps. Maybe again, maybe you want to see a play with a little bit more knee bend. He can be standing straight up at times, so we do want to see more consistent knee bend from him. Um, but nonetheless, we do like the fact that he's 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 um holding his inside leverage, you know, that outside foot split in the crotch. We have we have 91 who gets into the contact window. We have Fuaga who shoots the right hand, but his hand looks like it gets swiped or just doesn't land necessarily cleanly. But the good thing of the, the good thing that we're seeing from this rep is not necessarily even the right hand. The right hand punches, good timing, okay, good good location. Shit happens. It get it gets chopped, it gets swiped, whatever, you know, whatever we want to call what he did, I don't really care. Um again, it's not what I'm paying attention to. So what what does he not do? He doesn't lean, he doesn't fold over. He just kind of re, he kind of replaces that right, turns left. 
and he can turn his hips now because he, you know, you have the you have the D end who is on his level. You don't want to turn too early when they're too shallow because they cross your face. The B gap is open. Once they're gonna start like cross, you know, like crossing your, your horizontal plane, you can turn. He turns, lets goes to land, doesn't, but it doesn't land again because you know just so happens that the the D end's hands there, but he refits it. Now he has left into the shoulder, right into I can't tell exactly, but then we're gonna see him grab the shoulder pads, get underneath. Again, you can grab shoulder pads. It's just about how exactly. There's a there's a very fine line. Good play. Um, Fuaga torque, but try to launch. Right tackle. So Fuaga is not going to fight to to get like inside leverage because he wants to actually maintain outside leverage. That's where the quarterback is going. So he steps inside because the whole offensive line steps you know uh, steps down like that. Um, just giving the illusion of play action, or whatever they're trying to do exactly. Um, so Fuaga doesn't doesn't step too too far inside, but drops his base left hand into the left hand into the um, chest area, right hand into the into the ribs, launches him 